So I just had my first official acne extraction in my forehead. I just cleaned it up and I shouldn't have done that, but because I wanted to show you guys what it looked like before, but this is what it looks like. You can see it's still kind of bleeding a little bit. And what she did was just basically pop all the blackheads out. And I'm coming back in a few days to do the rest of them. And yeah, I just wanted to record it while I'm still here at the doctor's doing crazy stuff. So what you just saw there was my, I think I was my third time getting a professional blackhead surgery is actually what they call it, but it's just an extraction. When I first heard surgery, I was like, what's, are you guys gonna put me under? And then it was way simpler. But uh, a lot of times when you go to the dermatologist, they will suggest to do this. And it is fantastic. Um, like a trained nurse will go through and extract each one of your blackheads for you. It is relatively expensive. Hopefully it's covered by your insurance. But today I wanna to show you guys how to do it on your own at home. Now, a lot of you guys have probably seen something like this. This is the Bior like deep cleansing pore strips. You put them on your face, you let them dry, you rip them off. And sometimes people see like blackheads come out, but usually it's the very tiny little blackheads. What I'm talking about, and the only time that dermatologist is gonna get you to do a extraction is if you have very deep and very heavy blackheads. So this will not cut it. But there's a tool that they use at the dermatologist that actually makes it professional. So this is just literally a blackhead extraction tool. It's gonna be like a little piece of metal that has a loop and you're just gonna work your way around the blackhead after you've steamed your face or gotten your face hot in the shower, or put hot towels on it just to moisten up the skin. Then you were just gonna put that round piece of metal around your blackhead and work it in a circle until you can start to unseat the blackhead. And then you're just gonna add little tiny bits of pressure until until you get that blackhead to release. This is the only way that you should be taking care of big deep blackheads. If you are using your fingernails, I know a lot of people do this and it's like my biggest pet peeve. A lot of people take both of their fingernails, the two fingers, and just go crazy at it. And then they might get the blackhead out, but then you have these two lines and possibly scarring going on right around your blackheads. And if you have a lot of blackheads, you're gonna have these all over your face and you would save yourself so much time and trouble if you spent like, I think it's like 10 bucks uh, on Amazon to get one of these. So as you see, I have one blackhead that it always comes back. It's right in the middle of my eyebrows and it always comes back. It's relatively deep. And so I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to show you guys exactly how to use this extraction tool. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. So that is it. This is a pretty short video, but I just wanted to get right to the point, explain what I'm talking about, how you can save a bunch of money and do it at home yourself. And also, if you are gonna get it at the dermatologist, this kind of just shows you, don't be scared. It's called a surgery. It's not that scary. Um, but you will end up having red marks all over your face for about a day and then it'll go away. And uh, yeah, I hope this helps you. I'll leave a link for the product below if you guys wanna check it out on Amazon. And uh, yeah. I'll see you guys in the very next video. Remember, you are not alone. You are beautiful and you're part of Team Acne. See you guys.